Hi, this is John C. Murphy for No Part Dark. In this video, we will create a seamless background in Cinema 4D. This is based on a grayscale gorilla tutorial by Nick Campbell, which he calls the infinite floor look. Assuming you are starting with a properly textured object, I'll use a sphere with a built-in Denel shader applied to it, and that you have your lights all set up. Creating a seamless background requires three steps. Step one is to add a floor plane underneath the object. You can use a plane primitive or the floor object, it doesn't matter. Texture the floor appropriately. I will use a plain white color. Now if you hit Control R to render at this point, you will see the problem. The background is black. Presumably, this is because the floor doesn't extend out to infinity in all directions. So step two is to add a background object with the same texture as the floor. You can find the background object in this menu. So add one. Then apply the same texture to it as is applied to the floor. Rendering again, we see that nothing has changed. So what happened? Well, the answer is that we need to add a compositing background tag to the floor object. So with the floor selected, under Tags, Cinema 4D Tags, select the compositing tag. Looking at the tag settings, we need to turn on compositing background, which is not checked by default. Now if we render Wham, we have a seamless background. Nice. Now there is a limitation to this technique, however, which has to do with the fact that the background object that Cinema 4D supplies is not a 3D object, meaning it doesn't display the two most noticeable attributes of any 3D object, perspective and shading. It neither changes perspective as the camera moves, nor does it allow lights or shadows to produce any shading on it. This is a problem if you use an obviously directional texture on the floor, something with a lot of lines, particularly if your camera angle is low, thereby producing a pronounced perspective effect on the floor. This will make the difference more noticeable. While we could change the way the floor's texture is mapped onto it by switching its projection from flat, that is planar, to frontal, that is 2D or orthographic, but this ruins the perspective effect on the floor. Thus, I haven't found a good solution for this problem other than to keep the camera angle high or just to avoid highly directional backgrounds entirely.